What's up guys? In this video, we're unboxing the HRX 217. And we're gonna check out what's inside the box. All right, so let's open it up. I've already broke the seal. But, uh, let's see. On this side of the box, we have some setup instructions. Setup instructions are on every side of the box. So let's take a peek inside. First look, we got the, the bag, mower, oil, instructions. And here is the uh, grass catcher frame. Move you back so you can see a little bit better. All right, the bag, oil, and instructions. Let's see if I can get it out of the box. It is Comes with uh, this foam protection. Bail bar was held down with a piece of paper. It means fun work. That's right. Engine has no oil. And if we get this off.
Alright, that's a quick reminder. It comes with no oil. Gotta make sure you put your oil in it. Alright. So far, I've been successful with not reading the instructions. Uh, some of my other mowers have had to uh, adjust the handles and set up some other stuff. So far, it's been a pretty quick, easy setup. All right, let's see if we can put together the bag. These two holes go in together there to create the frame. And it goes in this way underneath the handle does the handle go through there no and yeah connect there strap that there all right to the side strap that there there let's do the other side there there and the bottom all right that was very simple, very easy to put together. Bring me over here and let's take a look here easy to go in there are grooves right here and here that these bars will set into just like that and down goes the door the rear hatch all right easy setup all right so let's check and make sure that the handle is at the right height not bad but here's how you adjust the height of the handle. Real simple. One turn right here on this knob. Same knob on this side here. And that allows you to drop the handle lower or raise the handle up higher. And I'm gonna bring it up as high as it goes. And I don't know if you were any taller. I don't know. this. Uh, might not be high enough. All right, next step, let's add some oil. Let's bring you around here. And we'll read down. Okay, so. Here's where the oil goes in. On there tight. Okay. It's got a little bit of oil from factory testing.
In goes oil. All right, that was uh, SAE 10W 30, 12 ounces. Okay, spark plug is on. Here's your air filter, real simple, as most Hondas are, very basic. Gas tank is dry. And then here's your fuel shut off. It's vertical, which means it's in the off position. All right, let's put some gas in it. It's got a nice big opening for fuel. Some of my other mowers have Tiny openings, very difficult to get a nozzle in like this. And it's still got plastic on it. There we go. All right, before we turn the fuel on and um, test it out, let's check out the height settings of the wheels. So it looks like the top setting right here, right here, is three quarters of an inch, position number one. All the way down to the bottom setting at position number four at four inches. So I like to cut around three inches, so I'm gonna put it right here at position number three. Front one is set at position three already. All right, the manual says that all four wheels should be at the same height adjustment. So if I want the front ones on three, that means I also have to put the back ones on three as well. Now that's raised up the handlebars, so if you are taller, then that'll go, that'll be better for you, too. Now the handlebars are up here. Which means you might be able to lower it one notch. All right, let's, uh, let's start it up. Hey, let's just work the oil in a little bit first. And you know what, we gotta turn on the fuel. Let's work the oil in a couple pools and almost. Not yet. So now I have to adjust the sensitivity on the self-propel 
in the back here. Depending on how much I want to squeeze this lever, decides how fast the mower goes forward. I noticed it's a, a little heavy or, or difficult to pull backwards. It's not real light. The wheels don't want to move as freely as my other mowers. So we're going to just go a little bit here. It was on this lowest setting. We'll just go a little bit more. Test it out. that'll work and I've, of course you can always toy with it while you're cutting as well all right now this is on mulch mode I am a bagger so we're gonna open that up all the way and allow to bag all right let's go cut some grass First impression, it's rear wheel drive. All right, and if you go too fast, it does a wheelie. So I don't think you have to even, I think this is very sensitive. I don't think you have to mess with it too much at all. At least when you first begin it, maybe over time, the cable will stretch out and you have to readjust it. Very big bag. The clippings were right up to the edge here as I opened up the uh, back door. This is a big bag. It could probably fit my whole yard of clippings in it. Let's empty it. Not the, not the easiest way to hold it. There is a handle on the back of the bag here for you to hold, but it, it's not something that you're gonna be able to do one-handed. And if I hold it one-handed, that's what happens. It just wants to spin. So you have to hold it two hands to empty it. Some of the other bags have that handle that comes out here just like this, or it has two bars here. That gives you the opportunity to grip it a lot better. Not happening here, it just turns. It just spins on your hand. All right, guys, so my first overall opinion is it's heavy. 
and it's fast. Um, bag is big, yet it's very, very simple. It's a very simple machine. With the dual blades, hopefully it gets a nice good cut. Shouldn't have any problem cutting longer grass. So stick around. We'll do some more videos with this mower and I'll let you know how I like it over time. Like, so comment, subscribe. Over and out.